Hi friends! Today we will learn what are matter cycles and particularly what is a nitrogen cycle. So let's start. We all studied the composition of our atmosphere. We never changed this data as in the composition will always be the same. We studied that oxygen is 21%. Argon is 0.9% and we have other places for the gases. We have 78% nitrogen. So this composition never changes. You study the same statistics every single year. Why and how do these gases always have the same concentration, even though they are being used by plants and animals? Let's try to understand this. Our Earth is a closed system. Nothing ever enters or leaves the Earth's atmosphere, unless something unusual happens. For example, if a meteorite enters the environment, or the launching of a satellite, only through these ways can something enter or exit the Earth's environment. The Earth is a closed system because nothing enters or leaves the Earth's atmosphere. Water, oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, or all types of matter, maintains its percentage value in the Earth's atmosphere. Any matter, say water, is consumed by various living organisms and is returned to the environment in a cyclic manner. We call it the water cycle. There are many more cycles. The nitrogen cycle, carbon cycle, rock cycle, so on and so forth. These are all called matter cycles. Today, we will be learning the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen is an important gas present in our atmosphere. Our atmosphere contains 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and the rest of the gas is present in traces. So, Nitrogen is the most abundant gas present in our atmosphere. The percentage of nitrogen remains more or less constant. And how does this happen? Let's study the nitrogen cycle in order to understand how the percentage of nitrogen remains constant. Nitrogen exists as gas in our environment. And the formula is N2. That is two atoms of nitrogen are in each molecule. And two atoms of nitrogen have a very strong bond between them, which is why it cannot be used by any living organism, as it is very difficult to break this bond. So breaking this bond between the nitrogen atoms is actually done through various means before any plants or organisms can use them. And this breaking of the bond is called nitrogen fixation. So nitrogen fixation is the process where nitrogen is turned into a useful form, which is nitrates. So nitrogen fixation is a process of turning nitrogen gas into a usable form, nitrate. Nitrogen can be fixed in various ways. First is industrial fixation, second is atmospheric fixation, and third is through nitrogen fixing bacteria. Let's learn all three. The most important one is the nitrogen fixation through nitrogen fixing bacteria. Nitrogen fixing bacteria present in the root nodules of leguminous plants converts the nitrogen into ammonia, and then the process is called ammonification. Then some nitrifying bacteria converts the ammonia into nitrite, and this is another variety of nitrifying bacteria. And again, another variety of nitrifying bacteria converts nitrite into nitrate by adding more oxygen. And nitrates are then usable. It can be absorbed by the plants to form amino acids nucleic acids, and chlorophyll. This process is called assimilation, as in the usage of nitrogen in the form of nitrate by plants to grow. So now nitrogen has become a part of the plant in the form of various types of proteins. 
We know all types of animals, including humans, take in various plants and plant products as their food, directly or indirectly. Thus, nitrogen becomes a part of all plants and animals. Now, the organic waste that comes from plants and animals is decomposed by various types of decomposers. And the nitrogen in that organic waste is then again converted into ammonia. Certain denitrifying bacteria present in the soil also directly converts nitrogen in the soil into nitrogen gas. And this nitrogen gas again returns to the atmosphere. This process is called denitrification, where extra nitrogen in the soil is released back into the air. So we have learned about nitrogen fixation, or nitrifying bacteria or nitrogen-fixing bacteria. Now, let's learn another way of nitrogen fixation. Lightning, or atmospheric fixation. A strong bond in the atmospheric nitrogen can also be broken with the help of lightning, and free nitrogen atoms combine with oxygen in the air to form nitrogen oxide, and these nitrogen oxide may further dissolve in the rain and form nitrate, which is again carried to the earth, and in this way nitrogen fixation is called as atmospheric fixation of nitrogen. Now let's learn the third type of nitrogen fixation, which is industrial fixation. Under great pressure, the temperature of around 600 degrees Celsius and presence of catalyst is also required. Atmospheric nitrogen and hydrogen can be combined to form ammonia, and ammonia can be directly used as fertilizers and can also be further processed to form urea and ammonium nitrate. So, these are three ways atmospheric nitrogen is fixed or converted to usable forms for plants and animals. Industrial fixation, atmospheric fixation, and fixation by various types of bacteria. Nitrogen fixing bacteria present in the root nodule of leguminous plants and various types of denitrifying bacteria present in the soil. So, this is the way nitrogen circulates in the atmosphere. Now, let's learn the role of nitrogen in our atmosphere. Nitrogen is an important constituent of proteins, chlorophyll, nucleic acids, and vitamins. Around 3% of the human weight is nitrogen. Nitrogen is used in fertilizers to help plants grow faster. Nitrogen is an important part of DNA, RNA, and proteins, which is the building block of all life on Earth. Nitrogen is also used in making explosives. So, nitrogen is a very important gas on the Earth's atmosphere. And we know 70% of the Earth's atmosphere is composed of nitrogen. Now we know what is the nitrogen cycle. Let's revise it. Nitrogen exists as nitrogen gas, where each molecule of nitrogen has two atoms of nitrogen bonded together. The bond between them is very strong, which is why it cannot be used by any living organism without fixation or the breaking of their bond. And this breaking of the bond between nitrogen atoms is done by various means. The three means by which these bonds are broken, or the three ways of nitrogen fixation, are industrial fixation, atmospheric fixation, and nitrogen-fixing bacteria. Industrial fi uh, in the case of atmospheric fixation, bonds between nitrogen atoms is broken by lightning and results in the formation of oxides of nitrogen that combine with the water to form nitrates. And we know nitrates are then usable by plants. In the case of industrial fixation, Nitrogen and hydrogen are combined to form ammonia, which can be used as direct fertilizer. The third way of nitrogen fixing is through nitrogen-fixing bacteria. 
There are two types of bacteria, nitrogen-fixing bacteria in the root nodules of the leguminous plants and nitrifying bacteria present in the soil. They all convert nitrogen into ammonia. And another type of nitrifying bacteria is... Uh, then, oh. And another form of nitrifying bacteria converts this ammonia into nitrates. Then another form of nitrifying bacteria converts nitrite into nitrates. This can be used by plants. And plants are taken as food by various animals. So nitrogen becomes a part of plants and animals. And then these plants and animals are converted to plant and animal waste. Which are then decomposed by decomposers or saprophytic bacteria to produce ammonia. And ammonia is again converted to nitrates and nitrites by nitrifying bacteria. There are also some denitrifying bacteria in the soil that directly converts all of these compounds of nitrogen, that is ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates, into atmospheric nitrogen. So now we know what is the nitrogen cycle. Now let's learn the names of various processes involved in the nitrogen cycle. The breaking of the bonds between the nitrogen atoms is called nitrogen fixation. The conversion of nitrogen to ammonia is called ammonification. The conversion of ammonia to various other compounds of nitrogen, like nitrites and nitrates, is called nitrification. Usage of these nitrates to form various compounds by plants is called assimilation. And direct conversion of compounds of nitrogen to nitrogen is called denitrification. So these are the four processes involved in the nitrogen cycle. I repeat, breaking of bonds between the nitrogen atoms is called nitrogen fixation. Conversion of nitrogen to ammonia is called ammonification. Conversion of ammonia to nitrates and nitrites is called nitrification. And the usage of these nitrates by plants to form other various compounds is called assimilation. And direct conversion of compounds of nitrogen to nitrogen gas is called as denitrification. So this is the nitrogen cycle. So friends, now we know what is the nitrogen cycle.